All right guys, welcome to episode one of Rust Free Stores. I just recently picked up a Play Choice 10 a few weeks ago. This is my first ever arcade machine and what a machine to start off with. If you guys missed the episode of me going to get the machine, I'll leave a link in the description and of course at the end of the video where the journey started. But I got the machine now and I kind of want to tinker around and bring it back to, you know, maybe it's heyday glory or a little bit better. All right guys, welcome to the first episode of Rust Free Stores. I have my Play Choice 10 machine right here set up. Just turned it on. You could kind of hear some. Definitely got a good buzz going. Oh, there we go, the marquee lit up as well. We're having some issues with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna tackle a couple things today if you do look on the side over here. You can see a bunch of graffiti all over the right side of the cabinet there so maybe we're going to try some magic eraser or something to get some of that off and uh yeah it's just it's got a little bit beat up parts here you can see some of the trim on the t-molding is a little bit messed up on there but today i think we're going to tackle i heard you could get an led light bulb from one of these so it, it lights it a little bit more even and then also the lock mechanism. I don't have the keys for the locks down here for the uh, coin door. So I can't get into here or where the quarters go. Um, I think I can unscrew this one from the back. So we could just get a new one. But the bottom one I think we're going to have to drill out. Let's take a look in the back and see. Reminded me to get some of those uh, easy moving furniture things to put under here. All right, let's check out the back of the Play Choice 10 here. And here are the two monitors right here. And you can definitely hear a buzzing with the a unit right here. So I heard they sell kits where you can replace all that stuff there but yeah looking in here so you can see the door mechanism right there I should be able to just unscrew that and pop it off but the other one is behind this this box here so we are gonna have to fortunately drill it out to get into there but before we work on the machine we got the power off switch right here to shut it off and you will also unplug it. All right, so you're gonna use a 12 millimeter wrench right here to get in there. Easy as that, perfect. Finish unscrewing that off and then we have to get this big bolt. There we go. So that's that. We're going to have to get a new one of these. So I left a nice hole right there to put the new one. But again, this one down here, we have no way of getting in there. So I think we're going to have to get the drill out. All right, so I got my drill here. I'm gonna switch out my battery though to the larger battery so it gets more drilling power. And then I just got a set of my drill bits right here. Might try to maybe use this one first here instead of a full drill bit, see if that works. All right, it's, it's currently at a standstill. Um, I'm pushing as hard as I can to get through the lock. <laughs> Might have to come back with a bigger bit. Not too sure, let's just uh, keep at it. Oh, 
Looks like we, <laughs> we put a hole in the coin thing. Oh no! But here is the lock. It's very hot. Oh yeah, it's a little hot. Right there. Yeah, a couple quarters in there. I know I put a few in there, so. 325, all right. So we just gotta, oh, that's easy enough, perfect. I was already loose from all the drilling. See the mess it made down here too. Just back in. There's all the shavings. <laughs> well, we got it out. But first we have to clean up all the metal shavings on the ground, so my cat doesn't walk into it, so let's get the vacuum. Okay, perfect. We're all cleaned up on the ground here. Everything's swept up nice and nice. Uh, one thing I want to do before I head to the store, I want to take off the marquee here and get a picture of the light bulb so I know which one to get. Um, it is uh, a very tall arcade and I have short uh, ceilings as you can see. So I have to use a special screwdriver because I can't fit a full one in. So I have this little like ratchet one. So this way I can put, put it up on here and then ratchet it off because uh, I would have to get a shorter screwdriver to use it like that. So we're using this. That's it, four screws in there and then this little bracket comes right off. And then this just slides straight up. Here's your play choice marquee and your bulb right here. Just one of those like fluorescent bulbs. So there's the bulb itself. So we'll see if we can pick up an LED version of this bulb. So then it'll light up nice and even. Cool. Well, it looks like Penny came out to explore. Who loves to play choice? Yeah, Penny? No. Oh, you good boy. All right, we're gonna head to Home Depot. I just made a quick list of some of the things we need, so let's go. All right, it's a little windy out today, but it's all right, it's finally warming up. Let's head to Home Depot. This one's silver. I mean, you could get gold, but I like the silver. finished up at Home Depot, picked up a few items. Uh, the cabinet locks should work out good. I picked up two different types of LED fixtures because I couldn't find just the bulb itself. So we'll see which one fits. One was longer than the other. And then uh, picked up some stuff to see if we could remove that graffiti. So we'll see. All right, we're back from Home Depot. So here's the spoils. I got the two locks right here. Some magic eraser to try to clean it up. We got this smaller LED one and this one's two feet, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. 
and some acetone as well to try to clean up that spray paint. Will it fit? Nope. Just too big. Now here's the other, the smaller LED one, 12 inch. Comes with the cord. Looks like you can change the the light, whether you want it to be 2700 Kelvin or 4000. All right, it's got a bunch of screws up here, so I'm not sure if I just unscrew all these screws, then it will come out. Okay, let's see if we can get that last one. There's also screws on the side here. Okay, there we go. Got this out, and then there's two screws holding the plate on. There goes all the screws. Okay, and then this plugs in the back. You can unplug that. Okay, hang it up to this so it doesn't fall. All right, so there's the old fluorescent fixture. You could keep it in to keep it original, but I'm not doing that. So we're putting LED stuff in. So there's the new guy. Super light. I don't even feel like anything's in there. And there's no mount points on it, so we'll probably just use double stick tape. And the cord is definitely not long enough. So we're gonna have to use an extension cord. But, plugs in like that. Let's feed it down and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So there's the hole where it goes through and then it kinda snakes down and they have these little clips on the side right here which wrap around the cord to keep it secure right into there so we're we're close we just need a small extension to plug into there okay so we got our little extension cord here and I tied it into all the spots there now we can like I said plug it in right down here or someone was asking so if I plug it into my power strip right here I could essentially have just the marquee on instead of the cabinet itself. So just having it plugged in right there and then we could just have the marquee on right there. Okay, looks like I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna need some slack. So I'll have to pull that back up, but let's see, it does show the, the different colors. We'll get some slack on there, some 3M tape and see how it looks. I'm just putting a little piece on here. You don't need anything crazy. This thing weighs almost nothing. So just something to get it stuck up there. Use a little razor blade. We'll try our best to center it. And we have two, two brightnesses, huh? All right, we'll get the dramatic uh, here. Alexa, turn off lights. All right, that shuts that off. Like so. We'll just place this up there. Like so, turn off the lights. Alexa, turn on lights. There we go, guys. That's looking pretty good. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. That's looking pretty good, I would say. If it was a little bit longer, we would have more even light there, but overall, not too bad. And like I said, it's it's hooked in. My plug is hooked into Alexa, so I could turn it on. All right, I'm curious to see if uh, I got some aluminum foil. If we maybe put it on the inside here 
if the light will bounce back a little bit more, giving us an even glow, so. Might get a little bit more light over there. We'll have to review the footage there and see. We can do a quick comparison right here like this. It seems. Okay, this is with the tin foil and without the tin foil. Can you guys notice any difference? Okay, this is with the tin foil and without the tin foil. All right, I ended up putting a big piece of tape across the top here and folding it under because you're able to see some of the lines here, but that's kind of how it's set up right now. I think it gives it a little bit more bounce back on the light, a little more even light. And then let's just put this on and that keeps everything buttoned up nicey nice. So this 12 inch LED was 1597 and it has 50,000 hours of uh, use, continuous use on it. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty great. 15 bucks for the upgrade. The bulb itself probably would have been 10 to $15. So might as well just upgrade the whole ballast. It's definitely lighter than this. This probably weighs a few, maybe a pound or two. It's got all that metal and stuff. So. Updated that, let's put the new locks on next. I did take a little marker. I wrote play choice top for the top key and then on the bottom one just PCB for the bottom and I'll just hang these in the back of the cabinet. There we go. Okay, I did pick up these uh, felt pads. So we're gonna try to put that underneath the play choice so maybe it'll be easier to slide on the ground hopefully So you can see all the graffiti on here. We got a couple stickers. It's really bad on the on the bottom down here. Right down all here. So much. So we'll see if we could get any of this off. 
So I do have some acetone right here. We're just gonna put on a rag, see if that works on any of this here. All right, a little bit of the acetone. Look at that, fades it out pretty good. All right, we're gonna speed this up a little bit and get this graffiti off right here. Whole bunch of graffiti. As you can see, it got all of the graffiti off of it. It still has, obviously, these tears that are in the graphic. So eventually, we're going to have to order a new graphic. You can still see some stuff, though, that is, like, carved in there. Like, they took some time and carved. Check it out. So, I Love John, that's, like, carved in there. And then you can see kind of the scratches. Another I Love John. <laughs> You can overall see the scratches on this. So this whole thing will eventually have to be all sanded down and then repaint it. We'll remove that. But till then, I thought it'd be fun to do this. Well, we did get all the graffiti off, but I want to put some back on because I thought it'd be fun until we finish it up and see if this marker still works. I don't think it does. <laughs> Alright guys, well that was episode one of Russ Restores on the Play Choice 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the process. Again, I never did anything like this before. This is my first real arcade machine, so I've been talking to a lot of people, getting tips and stuff, so some stuff you might see me do might not be the absolute way you should be doing it, but... It's a learning experience. Oh, just wanted to do a quick shout out to my buddy Andy on the YouTube channel, The 90s Are Rad. I got this sweet shirt from his YouTube channel. It just says, Rad Design Pink Total 90s on it. And I also picked up this one as well, white. And it says, The 90s Are Rad, that's his logo. So if you guys wanna check out his channel, link in the description. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think I should tackle next on the Play Choice 10. It's gonna be an ongoing project. We'll be putting out videos with this series probably every few weeks, depending on ordering parts. It could take a while to come in and then just having time to film and edit it. But there'll be plenty of other videos filling in the gaps till then. Well guys, as always, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, Darian Chiba, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivy, TechWiz X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ayanoshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, and everyone on my Patreon page. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later. Brrr.